we came here with four key objectives. To make clear that the United States stands with Israel, to prevent the conflict from spreading to other places, to work on securing the release of hostages, including American citizens, and to address the humanitarian crisis that exists in Gaza. Um, we started, as you know, in, in Israel. And it was important to make it very clear that the United States has Israel's back. We will stand with it today, tomorrow, and every day. And we're doing that in word and also in deed. I spent time with Prime Minister Netanyahu to go through the needs that Israel may have to um, make sure it can effectively defend itself. Uh, and you've already seen a lot of that assistance moving forward. And that's a conversation that will continue. Um, Israel has the right, indeed it has the obligation, to defend itself against these attacks from Hamas and to try to do what it can to make sure that this never happens again. As I said in Tel Aviv, as President Biden has said, the way that Israel does this matters. Uh, it needs to do it in a way that affirms uh, the shared values that we have for human life and human dignity, taking every possible precaution to avoid harming civilians. Uh, after we uh, left Israel, we've gone now to, uh, I think I've lost track, but to uh, six countries in the region. Jordan, uh, Bahrain, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, now here in Egypt. And the purpose of um, seeing all of our partners was first and foremost to listen to them, to hear how they're seeing this crisis, and to look at what we can do together uh, to deal with many of the concerns that it's raised.